Carnival Cruise Line soaring to a new 52-week high today after upgrades from J.P. Morgan and Bank of America. The stock was the second most active single stock on the S&P today. And the options were seeing just as much interest. Mike Coe's got the action. Kind of unusual, Mike, huh? It most definitely is. This is not one of the names we typically see in the top 10 most active single stock options. But it was today, and it traded six times its average daily call volume. And the busiest contract were the August 15 calls. We saw well over 33,000 of those trading for about $1.45 a contract. Now, most of that activity was the result of an institutional trader rolling up and out on a bullish position that they entered into in early May. They own the July 11s. But uh, they've already booked substantial profits, and they're betting that there could be at least another 12 percent upside by August expiration. Wow, 12 percent. Um, you know, it's funny because just before the show, we were just talking about uh, the kinds of vacations we would never want to go on. And Guy specifically okay. said— Okay, yeah, that's right. Go ahead. Uh, uh, Throw me under the bus. No. Yeah. Well, well first of all, for a number it of reasons. You would have said, it's not like I'm throwing you under the bus. No. The main reason, there are, by the way, there are a laundry list of reasons. Sure. The main reason is I can watch Dangerous Catch on the television. You know that show where they catch crab? Ooh. And I will get, I will get seasick, uh. deadliest, dead, whatever. I get nauseous on a boat. So you don't want me um, getting sick with the rest of the passengers. That's oh, not a good thing. The good of the so others. I'm thinking of the good of the others. With that said, there's no shot of me getting on, even if I didn't get seasick. <laughs> So you don't like cruises, but do you like the stock? Do you yes, like because, yeah. look, I mean, just for, for context, though, I mean, this was a 70-something dollar stock in 2018. Not that that matters. And you look at it, yeah, it's doubled over the last couple months, but the stock is still extraordinarily depressed. I mean, the chart looks awful. But we've seen stocks like this go from 6 to 15 to 22 in a, in a number of weeks. That's probably what we're on the verge of here. I think they report on June 26th. It probably rallies in our earnings.